You survived the weekend? Well, I can drive. Yep. Keep the electric on and everybody happy. Yeah, everything went well. Good. The only complaint I had was it's too hot to have a campfire. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I'm trying to remember. I think this winter fest I talked to, if I remember seeing him once I saw his face. I can't remember. Yeah. I, re I recognize the face, but it, yeah, he was incredible. So he's so he's so he has a to work at that time. I heard it was too green to fish out there, though. Oh, but that too much algae to fish. Yeah, it is. It was pretty monster. And our fish are happy. <laughs> You got happy fish? We do have happy fish. <laughs> They're smiling? Yeah. Huh. So nobody can catch them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. One of the founders was Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad. It's pretty good. Too bad you can't come up with a way to clean that up a little bit. Well, we got a plan. It's going to take a while. Time and money. As you know. <laughs> we'll get there, Jack. <laughs> well, what they did over Lost Island, Lost Island's a lot cleaner now. Is it? They used to be really weedy. That's there's hardly ever any weeds over there anymore. Mm -hmm. East over Boji, they'd really clean that up. What kind of process do you guys have in mind as far as cleaning it up? Like, is it? Oh, well, we've been doing it. We're in the very early stages. There's the organization within the Department of Natural Resources called Lake Restoration. Yeah. They have funds to renovate the lakes. So we've been working with them, and it's a kind of a three year, five year project, project to get on their list because that's where the money takes that long. Um, so the, we're looking at various options. The, the overall goal would be to drain it and dredge it and start over. Okay. And the, the lake was built in 65, so it's lasted longer than the actual lake as far as facilitation and all that kind of stuff. Okay. But that's a possibility. There's other options too. That's what we're kind of looking at possibly doing the next three or five years. Can you get more fresh water in it? Well, that that's the a big part of that is trying to improve the watershed. Yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Improve the, the tile feeds, you know, to kind of get the water protected before it gets to the lake, that type of thing. But we're at the mercy of rain. I mean, it's yeah, percent tile bed. And that's just right There's no spring in the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm aware of. We're, we're torching this until it crest right now. So. How deep is it? Uh, about nine and a half off the island now. Well, that's not very deep. Well, like I said we're a lower tender the black. Yeah. Do we ever do anything out there for the algae? <laughs> you gotta come earlier. You, you, you gotta come, you'd have come a little bit earlier. You'd have got in on the conversation. Okay. It is eight o'clock. Let's stand and do the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I see no public discussion. 
Do I have a motion to approve the agenda minutes dated August 29th, 23? Laugh. Stecker. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Who was that? Okay. Oh, since okay. if we had questions or needed anything from him, we could contact him. Okay. Everybody had a chance to look at the claims in your iPad. Any discussion on the claims before we have a motion? About the thirty thousand dollars that was in the pool. Three thirty thousand dollar girl merits payment and the responsible for starting up that were emergency management. So um, yeah, I could get them out. Yeah, that's, that's old clip start this Yeah, yeah. Anything else on claims? Seeing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the claims. So moved. Director. Second by Black. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Mm -hmm. A woman with two first names. <laughs> Come on up. Hey, 20 whole years. I'm old. <laughs> you got, you got 20 I started more. when I was 10. <laughs> you got 20 more? Uh, no. <laughs> Come on. You're doing good. Yeah, I'll shake your hand. We'll let you get a picture. Right here, please. Thank you very much for your service. You're welcome. Thank you. you Enjoyed it. Good. <laughs> as long as you're shorter than my knee. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Burns not coming in. He's not going to make it. So I'll bring it up. It has certificates to Roger. Want me to take a picture of you? No, thanks. <laughs> All right. Thanks. 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 Oh, well, we are up to medical examiners. Everybody had a chance to look in your folder about the medical examiner and adding one. Adding too little. Yeah. That was going to be my question. Who we were adding? Nope. I got the thoughts. Yeah. I would make a motion to affirm the motion on. Uh, I said. Second. Is that plan? Yes. Any more discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We are up to 
set date and time for bid opening of county lead farm lease bids and approved publication notice. And yeah, county, Ross called me. He just wanted to be clear on that about how we're going to do it. But anybody that puts a bid in will have a chance to raise it, or only those with the highest bid. I how we going to do it. Last time, if I remember, um, if I read right, or here in the notice, after the bids have been opened, the three highest bidders of the sealed bids will be allowed to increase their bids. So the, you let Rothler know that? Yeah, I will um, call him. He wanted to know when the date was, so I'll call him today and see if he has an email he wants me to send the yeah. notice. See, he just wants to know how we're going to do it, make sure that, you know, how, who has a chance to raise the bid. Yeah. The other question was, you're still, we're still going to stand firm on not allowing organic farming and I told him I think that I'm pretty sure that's true we're not going to let organic farming be just I can't compete with that. I, I'm in favor of not having organic farming on our county farm. Well I am too. It's, yeah but I mean I'm Stecker and Wacker what are your opinions? I guess I don't know enough about the organic farming to really make a decision on it. You get a lot of weeds. Yeah, I mean, when we talked about it before, I in general agree with that. Um, but if that's going to be our stance, do we need to have that in the notice? That was used last time. Yeah. Just changed the date. Yeah, but I we wouldn't have had that as a requirement the last time. And do we have to allow people to raise their bids? I think if we have before, you know, we would need need to continue that. Just we don't have to. I know, but but does. I guess there's two ways to look at it. You could get people getting in a bidding war, but you could also have people lowball it and. Just, just think they're going to the gonna raise it as low as possible. So, well, she said the three things. highest. So, if they lowball it, they're probably going to be out anyways. If there's a, if there's if other competition, yeah, yeah. if there's three people that bid on it, they all can really yeah. I know it's worked good. the last two times we've uh, done it, it's worked good. I've had, yeah. and we have had guys raise their bid. Do you remember? Did you remember what we got last time? She wouldn't have been. You, I, did, I, I can go grab the folder. I don't even remember what we rented it out for. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll just take off the top of my head. I don't remember I either. Last, like, I can go grab that aisle quick if you want me to. Why don't you? We got time. Okay. I'd kind of like to know what we got last time. It's like two something. I thought it was three fifty. No, no, it was definitely not. I was thinking like two seventies. That's kind of cheap. I don't think it was over three hundred. Hmm. I don't remember what the CSR there is or anything. It's a decent farm. Two hundred and seventeen total acres. Yeah. yeah. Short 240. No. And then the buildings are out. Just got her size building spot. Hasn't Rothler got it the last two times? I think. So it is Oh, yeah. I guess I jumped right over it. Yeah, it does already. It does have in the notice as conditions to not organically farm. I skipped right over it. That's fine. 286. I was, yeah, I was thinking it was like 270 something. So. 286 an acre. Okay. 
Oh, they did real well. They did work real, real well on that with seven dollar corn and so, yeah. eight dollar beans. And that was a three year lease too, right? Yeah, correct. Will everybody want to do it on a three year lease again? That'd be fair. So yeah, then they can fine. fertilize it accordingly. When do you want to do it? And when do you want to? Um, I said in there to uh, have the bids into the auditor by Monday, October 2nd at 4 p.m. and to open the bids at 8 35 a.m. on Tuesday, October 3rd. Um, October 3rd. Yes. I'd move that to those dates. Does that include putting the publication notice in the paper? Yeah. Okay. You can put it in the Algona paper and the reminder. So we're. Um, we usually just do the Algona paper and the two Northern papers. Bancroft and Yeah, I don't think it's ever gone in the reminder. We are keeping the bidding part in that they're able to raise their bid. I think your motion was as. Yeah, yeah. I'll second. Does it cost a lot more to put it in the reminder? I'm just curious. I don't know. I could ask about that. It it wouldn't be one of our official newspapers. So that's why it wouldn't go there. Yeah, I know. But the more people get the reminder than get the old one paper, my everybody gets a reminder. Yeah. Just an idea. Well, that's right. Really maybe we need to discuss having it as an official. So we can use that. Well, you, yeah, this yeah, add a lot. Of only have yeah, to have yeah, a lot of publication costs. Yeah. The only re this is okay. something it's different expensive. than official publication. This is because when we sell trucks or anything, we put yeah. that in a reminder. We don't put that nailed on the paper. Okay. Yeah. I think we, because of the kind of publication population, we don't have that too. Yeah. It's up to you, Tammy. I don't care. It's up to you guys. You have, if, if you want to add that as part of your motion, otherwise I'll just leave it the same. I think it'd be beneficial to reach more people. Maybe we get more bids that way. Maybe I, I, I think probably most people that are interested in this would already know it's coming up, but I I'm not opposed to it either way. We could add it to our website if you'd like to. I don't know how many people look at it. I don't know how many people look at that either. There's probably a decent amount of people that are on there. I, I would we'll, say we'll leave the, the motion as it stands. Everybody yeah. in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. I do about two, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't cost anything. Yeah. We are up to discussion decision on the homestead military disallowances for 2023. Any discussion? No. Standard. No. Do I have a motion to approve? No moves. Why? Becker. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. Oh, the Nyakog Housing Trust Fund. Um, okay, so they had uh, called us and asked, uh, or sent a letter asking for their amount. I can't remember which it was. And then uh, when they found out that you guys had only approved 1500 instead of 3000 they were concerned about that amount. So they have written a letter, which is in your packets, explaining why um, they would like you to reconsider the 1500 to 3000. Um, if you prove it, we add it to our budget. It's 
does a lot of good. It helps a lot of the poor people upgrade their houses. That 3,000 is multiplied many times over by government grants. To add it to the budget of that. I'll second that. Any discussion? I feel like there was a reason we made that reduction in the budget time. Trying to think. Oh, one of them. Mm. One of the things is that uh, uh, co-ops, electric co-ops, used to manage it and run it and add money to it, and they quit. That was one of the reasons, but and they thought it was going to fold, but it hasn't pulled, and NIACOG's been keeping up with it. So, so what did the state change? Because in this letter they talked about state funding. Um, state hasn't changed much on the funding. Provide critical match for state funding layer kind of many requests. It's harder to get, but uh, we believe that raising county support from 1500 to 3000 would significantly bolster our capacity to tackle crucial projects mm -hmm. and drive culture change. It's the only thing I could see that it's from the state. I think if I remember right, part of the problem was homework is who we used to give the money to um and we weren't and you guys weren't sure that that nine cock was going to be ready to take on this responsibility and how much they were going to be doing like yeah yeah because homework is no more yeah. i guess i i don't know i'd like to have a little more details here because I don't know. No. Well, we'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Platt? Yes. Wechter? Yes. Secker? Abstain? Jax? Yes. Motion carried. We'll put it on well, like our budget amendment. Approved date and time for the FY 23 24 budget amendment hearing. So I did put a folder um, in here, uh, board folders um, called working budget amendment that kind of gives you an idea of where we're at right now um, for the budget amendment. I did get an email from Doug Miller that he's going to have to add Perkins on the road um, to that too. I haven't talked to him yet. Um, the, the areas that are highlighted in yellow are the amounts or the line item numbers that we're still looking at. I just need to talk to Phil about the amounts that he wants for Sway City rent, uh, the revenue for EMS for races and CPR classes. I have to talk to Todd about what he thinks we're going to bring in for national opioid settlements. And um, the sheriff's office did get a local grant for $1,500 from my vision. And so I need to find out from them if they're going to use a regular line item to pay for that or if they want it. Maybe we'll have a new revenue. But I'm still working with department heads, but that's where we're sitting right now. So what date did you have in mind? I'm still looking at October 3rd. That's a full month away. Yeah. But we have to publish it for yep. between 10 and 20 days prior. So, uh, Do you have to publish the amounts or just that you can? This notice, this um, resolution. The amounts are in the resolution. Yeah, yes. I think I mean, think that it's real. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can. But yes, I believe the. Um, is Doug going to be able to get his together by then? When do you have to actually send it to the papers? Um, I think it's going to be published in 21, so it'll be to the paper 950. So by next Friday. Okay. 
So that gives us some data. We're done it. And then um, I got to go into the state system and see the amendment on their screen before I can print it and publish it. You want to call this? Yeah, it keys up. Yeah, we had a motion yet to set that. No, unless you think it has to be done sooner. No, I don't think we can do it. No, no. We can come up to the boardroom whenever. Set the public hearing. Huh? Big time. Yep, but October 3rd. October 3rd at 8.35, we're doing them. Yeah, the, the budget amendment doesn't take. It won't take that long. Do we need more time if we don't have all these, like, roads and other things, if we don't actually have them ready yet? Do we need more time? Okay, do we have to have this done by a certain time for certain projects or? No, we'll just. We need to do it this year before the end of the year. We're going to yeah. not be able to get to the gas tax. Well, but for the beach back, we have to have done. Yeah. Asking for payment. Voting mm -hmm. a beach budget because it wasn't finished in last year's previous budget. So then yeah. of that we have to get done quickly. Okay. That's why I was curious if yeah, there's a there timeline for something. There's one of the reasons why. We will do one more budget amendment before the year's all the yes. And the other thing I wanted to mention about the budget amendment is in there is a line for K9 for share. Um, he, I talked to him earlier about this or a couple of weeks about this, but he, he thought that the K9 was a budgeted line and then we didn't realize it was done by donations. Um, so he is asking now for the K9 to be part of the regular budget instead of being covered by donations. He had said that if you want him to come in and talk to you about that prior to the amendment, Cameron Jeopardy, Mark McGregor would be happy to do that. We just need, need to let him know that. Yeah. So they want to fund it through the county instead of donation? Correct. That's not going to stop them from being able to take donations for it, correct? Correct. So they'll be able to take donations. Come on in. Have you done ME1 yet? Yes. What was that? I didn't even see what was on there. It was a different for Just do a little. Do little. Yeah. yeah, do a little. I figured that's what it was, but I hadn't seen anything. Yeah, it's added in. Thanks. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So we had a second to the motion yet? Yeah. No. So we made the motion. I didn't even plant this for October 3rd. I'll second the motion. Discussion on the motion when to set the time and date for the public hearing on the budget amendment. Any questions or any comments? Well, somebody had a question. But Doug was going to be ready by that time. Budget amendment October 3rd. Um, we should be uh, visiting with Tammy last week and visit a little bit more this week. And when do you need it? You need to find to, figures. Well, we have to have it to the paper by the 15th, which means I have to put it in the system for the Department of Management. So next week. So anything. 10 days. I mean, we have time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor of approving the time of day for the budget amendment, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. I think we are up to road construction. Well, we have no requests for construction of the road right away. Then we will go to discussion with our county engineer and zoning administrator. Uh, construction. 
Uh, we're waiting to hear when they are going to be doing shouldering. We have all the approaches, driveways, uh, that work completed. Uh, they just didn't come in and do their shouldering. <clears throat> we're hoping it's sometime this week and then follow up with traffic parking. On the bridge project, uh, south of Tyke, they should be pouring concrete uh, for their North Pier, North Abutment. So if they could form that up in two weeks, we should be getting a pour in two to three weeks, I would assume, and get things uh, cured and ready for traffic. We might make it before harvest. Maybe. Maybe. Let's we'll see. Yeah. I'm not going to make any guarantees. Uh, the Irvington Bridge, they're doing some work today. They had put in some patches on that and they were not, they didn't get enough asphalt in it, so they will be getting that completed. And the Seneca Gun Club, that is all completed now. Uh, D60 Lateral One, we talked a little bit about folding up there at Eisman's phone company, did get that uh, uh, back and connected. And the Algona Airport, uh, they did push that construction back uh, to September 18th. And the pavement is placed at the bridge, the state bridge south of um, Benton. So that should be opened up shortly, I would think, in strength. And then get that shoulder on there and everything should be done. Um, looking to start interviewing for some positions. Um, this week, our operators are working 10 hour days. Next week, they return to five eight hour days for their work week. I received a call from Garrett Wilson, Hope Heritage Life. What he wants to visit with secondary road employees. Uh, I mean, he wants to he wants to individually speak with them during working hours, and I'm not going to allow that. Donna did send him an email after she had heard that he was in the courthouse talking to employees. She did send him an email reminding him that the board approved for him to talk during open enrollment and that we would leave um, information would be accessible to employees if they wanted to contact him on his own time. So he did say that he understood that. So hopefully he won't be contacting you anymore until we All right. Thank you. Yeah. And then uh, transfer station manager. At this time, I have one application for that. I plan to get that interview taken. And get a person hired. Is the board going to appoint the person I recommend? You only had one application. That's correct. If the process was taken care of. You will. I mean, the process. Is I, I advertise in three papers. It's been 10 days. It's been on the bulletin boards for 10 days. Is that the process? That's our policy. Because this is the first time. In fact, I think that you seconded in last November. You seconded the uh, appointment of the manager. So I wasn't aware that time that we didn't follow our own policy. Okay, All right. we should have. Well, take care of that. Other than that, I don't have anything to talk about. Um, on 190th, whatever happened with that out there with Brian Borman? Uh, I'm going to be talking with our road foreman. Okay. So we'll meet with him about that so okay. we can take care of the road. But 
the road is only, I think it's 40 feet of road right away. Yeah. I don't know what's going on north of that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you. Want me to? Yeah, I can do it. It's only eight thirty. Took my boy. My blood pressure feels like it's six though. <laughs> so they're working. <laughs> On this positive. It's quiet. it's quiet. Well, compared to last week, this is it's kind of nice. <laughs> okay, quiet. We probably would have had 30 some people here last week. Oh, the chairs were open. Yeah, that's what I was just counting. I didn't didn't count. Yeah, yeah we had thirty some. <clears throat> Low thirties, but yeah. Little no drainage request, Marge. The, the engineer at Jacobs and West Guard didn't he retire? I'll think of his name when I don't need to. Yeah. So then Rick Colin. Copper. Yeah, Rick. Rick and then Colin. Colin Clinton Bio is yes. the engineer. I did Rick retire though. Okay. I thought so, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. I heard that he on your belt. Harder to talk to Colin. Colin is now their head engineer. <laughs> We're getting Eastman signed up north. Like, Oh, I haven't heard any updates. Yeah. Got three more this week. What are the the percentage wise? No, not very many. All oh, small ones. Um, north. Navigated, not summer. Yeah, yeah, they were. I mean, they were almost a quarter before. Yeah, so they added three more. Well, depending on which three, that's. I, mean, I don't know. I didn't ask which three that. Yeah. But, It's not as contentious. We are up to a point Jacobson investigated as engineer for PK1 open ditch repairs. I'd, I'd make a motion to appoint it. Appoint Jacobson West Regard. I'll second. <laughs> nah. Wacker. Or Wacker, I mean. Yep. I'll get a W out of an N. <laughs> Any uh, discussion on it? Hearing none. Do a roll call vote. Class. Yes. 
Wachter? Yes. Second? Yes. Jax? Yes. Motion carried unanimous. Anything else, Marge? Brittany? You want to send up my letters or a phone call or whatever you're going to do? To have them get started? I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A phone call. Um, and then find you. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Probably be nice if uh, they'd share the report that they did on it originally. Bolton and Hank. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they will. Part of your doctor. Have they? As soon as you find them, they'll get Bolton. Look at the job. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to Tyler about it before. He said they would share their information. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to be a problem. Especially that drone footage. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, they'll they'll work work on that efficiently so they won't have to redo stuff. Anything else for Mark? If not, we're up to our time with the county auditor. Um so next week we have secondary road farming. This regional health center monthly report, um, and that's all we have on the agenda for next week. So just keep it that way. Just keep it that way. Mm -hmm. This guy has a new record for the shortest meeting mm -hmm. I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the shortest one we've had. It's three minute one. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 back. Yeah, was some special ones. I don't, I don't think we'll be yeah. that. No, I think so either, Kevin. So um, we didn't have the handbook on this week's agenda because um, we haven't had a chance to get a hold of the alias of Tony. Um, so once we get a hold of them and find out from them, but I did find um, some sample um, handbooks that they've done for other counties. And the information that we're questioning having in our letter that the other law firms said we shouldn't is in the other handbooks. So I don't know if we might not have an issue. It'll be so, like yeah. so um once we talk to them then we'll put the handbook app back on um, the agenda. But um, we'll set up a time to do that. And then um, that is I'm gonna be going on Thursday and Friday. Melissa and I are both gonna become C three certified. Um, and that's election training, and only auditors and election deputies can be C3 certified, which is the highest level of election training. So we will be going Thursday and Friday. Sounds good. That's this week? Yes. Okay. Jack, did you have anything last week? No. Nope, nothing. Stecker? I didn't have any board meetings, but there there is a public comment thing down in Des Moines tomorrow for. I don't even know the best way to describe it, but one of the things that's encompassed is workforce development boards, um, but it's I think it's kind of in line with the governor's reorganization bill. There's like more they're trying to do. And I'm still, um, I'm going to try and wrap my head around that a little more yet today, but I do know some other supervisors that are going down to that to comment at it. So I'll have to see what I can figure out with that, but that's tomorrow. I think that's all I got. I didn't have any committees last week. Next week we have Nyakov. about it well, i was supposed to have a <clears throat> third judicial district um meeting friday but we decided to cancel it because of the new advisory style that the board is and and um, there's just not a whole lot of update information for now so decided to cancel that one okay. anything else to come before the good of Kasuth county I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved.
Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.